James Kaufman, World News Report today, September 23rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. NOAA warning, possible Earth-directed coronal mass ejection inbound. Surprising all the forecasters who thought Sunspot AR-3835 was too stable to explode. Sunspot AR-3835 did just that. It exploded on September 22nd at 2139 UTC time. This was last night. The M3.4 class solar flare hurled a massive plume of plasma into space. This is the location of Sunspot AR-3835 right here. It has just come around the incoming limb of our sun. Debris from the blast entrained even more plasma on its way out of the sun's atmosphere, forming a partial halo coronal mass ejection seen here. The bulk of the CME will probably miss Earth, but its flank will deliver a glancing blow to our planet around September 25th, according to this NASA model. Heading over to NASA's Goodard Iswa spiral, we do see that coronal mass ejection modeled here, and it definitely delivers a glancing blow to Earth in or around September 15th, per their modeling. Now, we'll see if this changes, but currently they have this inbound for an impact on September 25th. At this time of year, even a glancing blow from a coronal mass ejection can cause a geomagnetic storm. Why? Because during weeks around equinoxes, Earth's magnetic field is unusually well connected to the sun. It's called the Russell McPherson effect. The incoming coronal mass ejection could therefore cause a G1 to G2 class geomagnetic storm when it reaches Earth on September 25th. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share and subscribe. And remember, if we get a big one around this time of year or during Earth's other equinox, there's a good chance that strong geomagnetic storms may be the result. Don't forget to share our videos and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless.